John Caron. John, what do you do? I'm a customer services team manager uh, for the establishment side of the business. And we're working towards uh, service market at the moment. Yeah. Uh, so You've been looking at some very specific uh, things that we do as a business, including how we uh, recruit more people with a military background That's into correct. our business. So what, what is it you've been looking at? Well, we, we've actually got 10% of our workforce are ex-military, either the Army, the Air Force or the Navy, uh, and we uh, actively recruit that kind of personnel because they understand what the business requires. Yeah. Uh, myself, I've been in the Air Force and I've worked, lived in both married quarters and, and uh, single accommodation. Yeah. So I do understand uh, what uh, the calls coming through are. Yeah, brilliant. And what was it like back then in married quarters? It was it was good. The accommodation was really good. Uh, I had no uh, faults or uh, complaints at all. Anyway, uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, the regional prime world. Um, how does having that service background um, help you uh, do your work on a regional prime? Well, I kind of understand. Uh, I think when people first join the company, they don't realise how vast the sites are. Mm -hmm. It's only when you've actually been on the site you understand it's not just a matter of a two minute walk, it could be a half mile or a mile walk before you get to marry quarters yep. or you get to work. Then, you uh, kind of understand if somebody has a problem with the heat and it's not just a small thing, it's, it's a massive issue. No, It's interesting when you look at some of the stuff that we do on housing uh, and you look at the size and the scale of it, you know, very emotional, people's homes, where people live and then you go into the workplace where we also maintain stuff and you, it's huge aircraft hangars, massive boiler systems, you know, huge gas mains all being maintained by us. So we can have an effect on, on uh, the quality of people's lives, not only at home, but also at work. Um, and that's a really important point for me, isn't it? Well, it is. It sounds cheesy, but I think people should make a call with confidence that people on the, on the other side of the phone actually understand the size of the buildings and the, the house and they understand they've you know, been, um, been and worked and lived in them. Yeah, they do. So, have you ever had a call come through, a manager escalation, uh, where a customer's saying, you know, you're based up at Liverpool, you don't understand what it's like to be in the armed forces? Uh, many a times, many a times. And it, it's, it's just easy to say, you say, yes, I've been, I've worked in there. And it, sometimes it's, it actually breaks the ice. I feel that I'm trying to give them a service and I want to give them the best service I can. And if they understand that I've actually been and worked and lived in there, mm -hmm. I think it's a it's calm influence as well. So and what would you say to people who are leaving the forces um, thinking about trying to get a, a, a career in, in you know, the private sector, the public sector, wherever it is, but maybe considering uh, working for Carilli and Amy. How, what would you say to them as words of advice from somebody who's done it? I'd say go for it. I says it's, it's a good company and we're there to help. And we do have that knowledge and uh, background that will help the people in the forces and that's, in, uh, and that's what we want to do. We don't want to be known as somebody who doesn't care, we do care, and I certainly care.